It all starts with a dead girl. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Well, that wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think it was strange. If they only knew. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father. Dress him up for his last journey. Put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Nice to see you too. Jack's room. It's like he never... I used to think I'd never fit in, but Jack, he didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Come on, Jack, where'd you put it? Okay, let's do this the other way. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It 
wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. Jack's in the prep room. should be in the office. sure if I'm ready for this. Hey, Jack. I got your special clip. Now, where's your tie? Nazi. You wouldn't have it any other way. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it, it just burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. people read. The signs that's closed. You felt it too, huh? And then it happened. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Oh, where is that star no 
notebook. I'm gonna be late. How long did you find that? Marianne? Oh. Oh. Marianne, are, are you are you crying, my child? see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully. Eh? Where is that? Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. no. I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. No, I, I can't just... Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided, torn between two realities. But no, I was the only one. Ugh. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number at... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke... Uh... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh -huh. <laughs> listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... There's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Nemo Resort. Find me there. Please. The light. It's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. 
Hello? Hello? Shit. I went on nothing but a hunch, a call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. 